If you're fairly new to Python, you're going to be working with copying items at some point. And Python has a few really interesting quirks we can see when working with different types of copies. So what I'm going to do in this case is define a list. Um, in this case, actually, I'm going to be defining two lists. You'll see why in just a second. And I'm going to print a before and after of both lists, just so I can show you two key differences between a few different types of copying lists. So on line five, I have list A with 10, 20, 30. And then line six, we're then saying list B is equal to list A. Now, this creates a really interesting side effect where whatever we do to A now happens to B. And to prove this, we can append to A in between the two print statements and then use these to then see what's actually happening. And we can see obviously our before is the same for A and B. And look at the afters for A and B. We've got 10, 20, 30, and six here. That's because when we appended to A here, yep, yeah, we appended to A, that's absolutely fine. You expect to see this. But because we've done list B is equal to list A, this is a direct reference. So whatever happens to A, happens to be. Now to make this even more interesting, if we were to use a particular list method, in this case copy here, clear the screen and run this again, we can now see that the append has only impacted upon list A. That's because this copy method here returns a brand new object. It's completely untied from A in every aspect. It just has the same items. It just means that if you want to take a copy of something, but have it be completely independent, we can come along and use the copy method. Another interesting bit of syntax you can use to do this is if you do some square brackets and a colon here, this basically takes a slice of the list, but it takes all the numbers as a single slice. So if we run this again, we get exactly the same result as earlier. 